Good run. Our current streak is uh, four. Uh, Keshele, NGA, Mantasy, and Lania say. And our last death was on the NGA, I think was the phase three death one. So that was our, that's our, was our last death. So uh, let's, let's random a ship, see where we start out today. Here we go, random ship in three, two, one, and random. Mantis A, we have uh, not done on this streak. Hope FTL is as kind to me as it was to you yesterday. Sleeping Dragon, you had the smoothest stealth V-run you've ever had. Wow, a smooth stealth B-run sounds nice. Rock B is near, huh? Don't want to see... I don't want to see your kitchen now. All the grease splatter from the canola oil. I can only imagine. So what do we have? I have some... Okay, somebody wanted to be Elanius. Slug I don't have. Zoltan C. Door, door Zoltan. Slug, stealth B crew. Rock border. I have... Zephyrus wanted to be a Mantis, so we will get Zephyrus as one of our borders here. And Zephyrus, uh, that should be a P-H-Y-R-U-S, there we go. Prepare for boarding, yes, this is definitely not going to be a fast run if I know anything about boarding ships. And no pause. Um, so usually what I like to do is something like this. Is this what I like to do? Weapons charge faster. NG on piloting, something like that. Um, Sleeping Dragon, your first jump was a double reward and a breach missile drop. Wow. Then second jump was a store where you could sell the missile for Cloak 3. It was ridiculously good. That does sound like a ridiculously good start. Fourth store in our first jump here, huh? I could sell Mantis Pheromones, and I don't know if I should. Always love seeing a boarding run. Not me, the, the micro is always more intense on boarding runs, but the rewards can be good. Um, the only door crew we want is the one and only silly device, that's right. You want to be a murder mantis? Sure thing, taters. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully I chose the one that's actually boarding. Oh, I didn't. Well, you'll be a secondary boarding... Well, no, I guess since we haven't fought, I'll, uh, I'll have you... Swap out here. Here we'll swap you out. Uh, first jump store is not great. I, I don't even know if we should sell mantis pheromones. What do you think, Sleeping Dragon? Do you think it's fine to sell it for shield value? Mantis pheromones helps with safety dance, but I feel like slightly better safety dancing is not worth a delay on our shield. So I think I am gonna do it. Guess who's back? Oh, I watch FTL is back. Firebeam time, huh? I will not admit to any firebeams or firebombs skipped in your act absence. And if anybody in the chat says it, they're lying. They are lying. Ten nines. So I need to be to this nebula in nine. Okay. Glad to have you back, my friend. Hope you had a good... You were on vacation somewhere, right? You wouldn't mind being the NG bro if nobody else has it dibs. All right, after this... House of Sin. All right, here we go. First fight on no pause. What do we got? A Rebel Disruptor. What a start. Uh, and I think they'll be running with drone control. Okay. So, if they have anti-drone, if they have an anti-personnel drone, that's the worst, I think. I literally just sold a fire beam yesterday on Kestrel. You watched the VOD. <laughs> Well, that was last week, not yesterday. So, I, again, I, I, it's a lie. It's a lie. I, I accept no blame. You heard about the fire emo? You're excited. It's, it's great. All right, so the plan here is to hope he doesn't have an anti-personnel drone. We board engines. Use safety dance to pull the pilot. I think this guy will be running, so you have to be very careful. Small bomb NG control if he has an anti-personnel drone. If he doesn't have anti-personnel, we small bomb the... Uh, the weapons, I think. Yeah, he's running. I an intruder drone. Means he doesn't have a... another drone. Oh, the shield, man, the shield. We take out that, but if we take out his weapons with our bomb. Okay, his weapons are down. We do this. Okay. Alright, that should be good. That should be good. Not ideal first fight, but we only took two damage against a frickin' Sector 1 first jump Rebel Disruptor. Well, second jump since we had uh, 
a uh, what, what was it called? Uh, something. Wait, well, four store is what we had. All right, all right. Only two damage. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> the fire emote is catered to I watch the FTL. Catered, made specifically for you. Bilbo says. Well, Bilbo is the creator, so. <laughs> Bilbo would know if it was created. All right, watch FTL. You're on vacation. You had a chill time staying at a friend's in America. It was a nice change of pace from the rubbish weather in the UK. Nice, nice. Vacation time, always best time. Rebel disruptors are the bane of your existence. They're just, they're cheaters, man. They have all the consumables and none of the downsides. It's what I always say and so annoying. Well, we see our other store this sector. We are surrounded by pulsars, solar flares, and asteroid fields. Hmm. I'd like to have second shield before I go to this asteroid field. So let's plan this out. And I, I probably, uh, here's the exit beacon with a potential manly search before exit beacon so i'd like level two piloting before this because we don't want to risk crew on that so nine eight seven six five four three mm. one two three four five six seven eight nine something like that maybe all right let's hope we can get second shield from this next jump uh, you came home to a heat, heat wave and had to suffer through your office being 32C, 90F, in fake money. With no AC, now it's raining again, so all is right in the world. Been baking here in the south of the UK. Alright, uh, he's got a missile, he's got boarding. I'm going to insta-board him. Oh, no, I'm not, he's got a heal base. So I'm going to kill off his border, missile his weapons, and then missile his heal bay is what I'm going to do. I'm going to deal with his borders first. Oh man, it's a rock crew with how slow it is. Engines. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Two damage missile into my fucking shields. I hate this fucking game. It's fine, it's fine. I now have a fucking fire in my weapons that I cannot put out. Fucking hell, man. What a goddamn start, man. And I can't put a sh <sighs> How do I know I have a teleporter? I looked at his ship. I looked at it. Uh, I don't know what to do right now. My shit is on fire. Fucking two damage missile. I think I have to wait out his fucking missiles or something. Because I can't board when he has a heal bay. I can't do anything. Go fuck yourself, fucking hell. Oh, god damn this fucking game, I swear. Double NG. Heavy laser two damage missile, man. There's no fucking counterplay. There is no fucking counterplay to this shit. Fuck you. Jesus Fuck you, Christ. Damn. Fuck you. God damn it. I'm trying my damnedest, chat. I'm trying my damnedest. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Oh, God damn it, man. I don't know what I was supposed to do here. That's a breach. Fuck you, FTL. Ah. Fuck you. How many fucking times has he hit my shields with his two damage missile? How many fucking times? Uh, am I dead here? I think I'm dead. I'm actually dead, aren't I? Third jump, man. Third jump. How how do you how do you play that? How do you outplay that? I had 28 health. I had 28 health going into that fight. I have to, I have to look at that. The whole thing where I whine about missiles all the time. Two damage missile plus heavy laser just almost 100 to zeroed me right there in like less than five minutes. How do you outplay 25 damage your shield room? That's that's what I'm that's what I want to know. Uneffing believable. We are less than 20 minutes into the stream. Let me let me start this at the beginning of the fight. 
What was I supposed to do here? Um, I'm at 28 health. Should I have boarded? He had a rock and two NG crew. I'm pretty sure I was correct in not boarding to deal with his border. Any damage I did was useless because double man, double NG. Yeah. I, I I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I can't. I can't think of a micro outplay or a macro outplay. I bombed his weapons. First two damage missile into my shields. Maybe I should my, move my NG there quicker. Just trying to dodge the next laser. I then instantly moved all of my do. Okay, I was slow on moving my. There's a fire in there. I don't know, man. Firing my weapons, I had to vent the weapons. There's no way a mantis puts out fire. Any missiles my heal bay. I think you would have bored immediately into weapons. I I don't know that that does anything different. Because then I don't deal with the boarding rock dude. Wow, how many missiles was that into shields, man? I don't... That's what, four four missiles into my shields now? Three or four? And it's a two damage missile. Heavy laser. Four or five missiles into my shields. And heavy laser into piloting, so I can't dodge. And I'm pretty sure that breached. Without knowing it was double engine repair, you think not boarding is defensible? You'd board immediately into weapons, have the weapons, mantis fight off their borders, still a brutal fight, not sure it gets a better outcome with this targeting. That human mantis repair, the weapons would have been much better. Yeah. That was 28 damage. That was 28 damage on the third jump of the run. TP to weapons after small bomb. Um. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, man. <laughs> what a start. What a start to our day, my friends. Well, that's a streak of zero. That is a streak of zero. Third jump of the run. You can say what you want. Maybe boarding at a different time or something. I don't think there was a counterplay to that. I don't think there's a counterplay to two damage missile into shields and then heavy laser into my weapons. And five or six two damage missiles into my shields. I think there was zero counterplay to that. Four died on Mantis. A third jump to two damage missile into shield i think that was four times four times heavy laser two weapons 28 damage uh 28 damage on jump three that's that's what i'm gonna say i don't think there's an outplay to that uh, they screwed your chance of dodging by boarding engines. Think two thirds of all projectiles fell went into my shield room. Well, it was shields and weapons is the problem. It was shields and weapons. Ah, oh, freaking hell, man. I, I, I don't, I don't see what the counterplay was of that one. What's up, M Pain Train? Instant streak restart, man. Freaking instantly. Uh, and that was with the shield value point we got. There was literally no option to have second shield. Oh my god, that is... I'm gonna try to let it roll off, man. I'm gonna try to let that roll off. Yeah, first missile into shields made first heavy laser go into weapons. I argue there is zero counterplay to that. Oh my god, do we have the same first ship? Well, I guess I just try to do this. That fight is why shields four so important. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, uh, it's fine. His laser's down. 
Yeah, it's it's why it's why that's the uh, upgrade we always try to do first, second shield. People can say, you know, maybe you should delay for something. Delay for um, a weapon for certain ships, or like on stealth A, you delay stealth B, you delay for uh, we don't have shields, so you go for cloaking or weapon value. But there's a reason we want rush second shield every every well on almost every ship. God, man. How's my Ballers Gate 3 playthrough been? Uh, fine. It's been fun. Uh, the VODs are over on Mr. Shogi's stream if you want stream if you want to watch them. I can't... It's hard for me to focus on other things right now when I'm just... You know... Instantly getting wrecked. Short version is that enemies on hard will smart target 25% of shots certain systems. It's really complicated, depends on the scenario, but broadly, weapons and shields are always on the list. Okay, I didn't save my positions. I did save my positions. Okay. Alright, well, here's shield value point again. Let's hope we don't get that same ship, man. Alright, the mental, the mental. Don't let it build up. Don't let the anger, frustration, salt build up. We're gonna try to move on past... Not dwell on loss of streak. It's pretty insane that that was the third jump of their f first run today. It's pretty insane. Don't worry, Rand. FTL just needs to say that you need to respect it. Is is the way you tell people to respect them by, like, murdering them? Because uh, that that doesn't sound like. A good path to earning respect to me. Uh, let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So I'm going to be here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put the kitten in a box. <laughs> good callback. Good callback. This guy has my same build. What was that thing you were talking about last week? Put your ring in a box with kittens. <laughs> Float it down the river. Okay. What was my streak before my 24 personal best? Uh, before my 24 personal best, I had gotten 10, then 1, then 8, then 3, then 4. So 10 was my best right before the 24. Well, in recent streaks, it was 10 and then 24. It's twice that's happened on Mantis A recently. There was that stupid shield hack death as well. FTL only knows language of violence, so it's only a war crime if you lose. Put down the rope and cinder block. Okay. All right. Uh, another one of these ships. Do I insta board this time? It's a less scary ship, but he could still small bomb my shields instantly again. Do I try a different strategy of like boarding his engines? Yeah, that's true. There's no heal bay this time. That's the reason I wouldn't want to. Board the missile guy, because the heal bay meant boarding no damage stuck. I think I'm going to insta-board into engines, and then try to do safety dance to keep him from boarding me while I missile his weapons. Okay, well he boards me anyway. Oh god damn it! I didn't swap my weapons, fuck. Don't fall my shield. Jesus Christ, he just... Bombed his own effing crew, okay. Well, fight's over, as long as I... I didn't even heal there. Okay. Ah, big surprise, a... Uh, two damage small bomb is not nearly as ridiculous as a two damage missile, when it's with a heavy laser, I guess. The fact that he didn't small bomb my shield is the real thing there. It seems like insta board, fight off their border with your secondary mantis, use your borders to run their guys around, small bomb weapons, at least AI can't small bomb own ship. Saved a missile with that mistake, five head play, yes. Totally did that on purpose. Small bomb plus Sultan explosion, that could have been really bad. Well, the small bomb was early enough that I was able to move my NG out, so. Um, I will have 55 scrap if I sell mantis pheromones at the store. Do I just skip it so I can just get my shield now? I guess I should go and sell it. Because if they're... 
There's like a heavy laser what I want to buy it. Okay, nothing I really want to buy. So I'm going to sell this. We get the second shield. And do I get power? I do not like low power like Farb does. What's up, King Sisyphus? Small bomb plus Elton Borders like Fed Seed without a clone bay, yeah. Since I've already gotten store first store sector one, I am going to go ahead and do that. This also gives us extra power that if I get the weapon upgrade, I can have both the small bomb and basic laser online. That's my justification for not wanting to play no power here, or low power here. So let me see what my route is. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Man, FTL just decided to roundhouse kick me to the face instantaneously today. It's kind of insane. I need 40 for the weapon upgrade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I say I'm not going to dwell on it, but it's kind of crazy to me that third jump we took 28 damage on this boarding ship. I just... 28 damage third jump. Goddamn two damage missiles are stupidly overpowered and unfair and imbalanced, and I hate them. You made this for me, huh? What is this? Is this a meme? People say FTL don't be like it is, but it do. All right. Me in black and white. Very nice. Good meme. It's a good meme. Speaking of power, catching up on all my VODs over the weekend, one thing I said a lot is I'm just so low on power right now. You say you don't like low power strats, but I always seem low. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. All right, this is uh, this is a crew killing and a training, so... I don't like low power strats, but I feel like it's the right way to play most of the time. Because if I don't play low power a lot of the time, I'm not able to purchase things like a, a hacking at the right time or a cloaking or whatever, so. Alright, this is dodge training. Will he board me a sec? He does board me a second time, really? Did he get back in time to, like, heal, or...? No, no, it's an NG. Okay. Hello, power strats earlier are best until you get critical stuff? Yeah, it's like, I, I... I don't like them, but I... feel like if you're playing hard mode no pause, you basically have to play at least semi-low power if you're gonna get your upgrades. Even with a 90% win rate, the odds of getting 28 wins is 5.2%. Okay. Never tell me the odds. Also, that's math. All right, let's do our let's do our training here. Even though we're getting training on borders. All right. Make sure he's not boarding me again. Okay. Cool. Yes, yeah, training ship. I'm also going to cross-train my weapons, Mantis, on probably engines. You want to be a Mantis, Gilatet? Sure. It'll be a while because we're training. Remind me after the training because I'm going to forget. That's also assuming that you have a 90% win rate on all ships. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm about 90% sure I don't have a 90% win rate on all ships. I don't know if even Hollow does on, like, Stealth B, but maybe he does. I don't know. Hollow might be the only one on no pause that could have a 90% win rate on something as RNG Jesus as uh, Stealth B on Harmo no pause. I know. I, I, I don't know if I would believe anybody has a 90% win rate on Stealth B. Your current streak at a Zoltan C run where he had three reactors in Sector 6. <laughs> yeah. All the times he had approximately Shield 6, Engines 4, Hack 3, but power only for Shields 4, Engines 2, Hack 1 with battery. Be interested to know if people think that's a good plan or whether they have forgone a few upgrades to buy 2 power. I don't know. That's a question for Farb and other Harbo no pausers, maybe even Sleeping Dragon and folks who do streaks with pause. Do I care about cross-training my NG? If I get a 
slug, I I would want to have my NG trained on something. What would that something be? Maybe engines. Uh, you were at three reactor in sector six. That let you get cloak hack and reasonable offense. Then you bought eight power in that one sector. What's up, uh, waifu nomics? You can't ask far that because you know he'd say buy all the upgrades powers for noobs. Okay. Well, are there any other hard mode no pausers even here? I guess <laughs> that's the thing. The other hard mode no pausers probably are like me and don't want to watch other people like Hollow or Dolphin Chemist or... I mean, I guess there just aren't that many hard mode no pause players out there. Right? Most of them have rage quit if it's like Necro Rebel and... Um... Whoever else. You couldn't pl play this game, no pause. Your brain is way too smooth for that level of micro. Hollow on his normal runs is 40 and 8. Stealth B, which is 83%. What's a normal run? Is that where you're allowed to use pause or what? Alright, I'm gonna let the NG finish engines and then we'll call that good. Call that good for training here. Now, I don't think I need to do anything else except just board and kill. And it's the one rock dude and the NG dude. Okay, cool. We got a map, all right. Well, map sector one is not terrible. It's a gorgeous day for your wife, Anomics. You're working. You're working from your front porch. Nice. Everyone that does hard, no pause, but you has rage quit FTL. Well, except Hollow. Does he still play? Oh, he been, he's been playing uh, Brotato a lot recently, I think. Okay, who wanted to be crew? Uh, I have to scroll up now. Somebody wanted to be crew. Who was it? Gila Tet, you want to be my last Mantis. Actually, somebody else was the other boarding Mantis, and I forget who it was because I reset it. So Sam, Sam will be Gila Tet here. I think people tend to think they need more power than they do. The thing you'll always point to is Mike's reactorless runs exist and are winnable for a reason. All those NGB and Stealth are slightly lower. Could you be the boarding Mantis? All right, so you can, TF Richards. I think somebody else was, but... They apparently were my bad luck charm, so sorry, whoever that was. I already forgot. No, uh, just his normal go for, oh, hollow his normal go for two hour crew kills. He has runs that he calls speedy where he doesn't min max, pressures the flagship with bare minimum to win tournament style. Okay. You're preparing yourself to play no pause on normal difficulty or even on easy, but you have more fun when you're watching Rand struggle with it. Well, actually, the map doesn't help because I already have my route planned out, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two more scrap and I get my weapon upgrade is my next plan. Hollow does still play, you think? He occasionally does a speedy run, but mostly plays Rotato. Yeah. All right, we're immune to damage here. Uh, you wanted NG, but asked just before Sector 3. Um, okay, I'll get you House of Synth. I'll get you. Just give me a bit here. After this fight. You died. You're all good. You're gonna sit this one out. Okay. Sorry, I'm blaming you for my bad RNG of... What was it? Five missiles to shields? God. It's, I think it was four or five missiles, two damage missiles to shields. Just that alone is 8 to 10 damage. And then when the other weapon's a heavy laser, like... It's just... That's just a death ship. That's... And what's stupid about that is that's only a death ship if he missiles my shields. That's why smart targeting on hard mode is so... So punishing and why we do things like low O2 strats. I, I don't know if there's a way to low O2 strat this ship, though. Just don't know with the without venting your own crew if there's a way to low O2 strap this ship. Maybe there is. The other thing you'll say about power discussion is where you can push low power pretty far. You also have to know when it's time to buy power versus holding out for the god store. Just rewatch the part of the stream you missed. That start sucked so hard. I, I really don't think there was a counterplay to missile to shields, heavy laser to weapons, with two NG crew and a rock border. I just 
I don't think there was a counterplay to that. So I'm trying not to dwell on it. It's hard for me not to dwell on it, but I'm trying not to. Okay, now we have this option if needed. Yeah, that's a good reward. Okay. If you put Mantis on pile and NG on weapons and your other two Mantis in TP, you could vent the whole section around engine seals doors. That might get O2 below 50%. Maybe so. Is that worth? Do we think that's worth? Before I have second shield, maybe. Now that I have second shield, I don't... I don't think that's worth. But... Maybe it's worth playing around? I don't know. I don't know. Far, would you play low O2 strats on this to play around the two damage missile heavy laser ship? I don't know. Yeah, that feels kind of bad because then you're... A lot of your important systems might be vented for your NG who needs to repair those things. You probably wouldn't, Barb. Missed the last few days of streaming. May I ask what killed the run? I, Waifunomics, just go to the beginning of the stream. You'll see it within 20 minutes. All right, he's going to be running. He has a heal bay. Because it was just within the last 20 minutes. Well, the first 20 minutes of the stream that killed us. And it was this ship. And I've, talk, I've been talking about it over and over, so... <laughs> you could go watch it if you really... Missed it. Okay, I need I need you to die so that we pull the other guy and he doesn't run, please. There we go. Yeah, it was today. It was like 10 minutes ago or something. Third jump, Sector 1. 28 damage. That's what killed us. You get in hidden shields while it's vented. It would be very bad. You would have med bay rather than clone bay. Yeah, I just I don't I don't even think low O2 strats, which is what we would have had to do to maybe serve. Well, just lower the chance that that happens. It doesn't even guarantee. It just lowers the chance. Just, I, I that's why I think there's not a counterplay because I don't think you play around that normally. Because if you play around that by low O2 venting, then you're in trouble to other crap. So I just I just don't know that there was a counterplay to that. Can you go back on Twitch? Webby, I literally just showed it. I'll show it real quick for those who don't know how it works. Go to my Twitch channel. It's how I, it's how I go and review things. This is a quick how-to on Twitch. Go here. See this little button? It says videos. If you're on mobile, you probably can't. I can't help you if you're on mobile. But if you're not on mobile, Go to videos. Right here it says recent broadcast and just the live one. If you click on this, you can go back all the way to beginning. The most recent broadcast. That's how you do it. And that's how I review when I die. You don't think there's a reliable counterplay pre-shields for deaths just happen sometimes. Yeah, that sucks. All right, this is a boarding border guy. So I'm going to kill this border before I board him. NGA loss is also incredible. You've had some watchable losses the last few weeks. Do I even remember the slug A stupid loss? Uh, not off the top of my head. Slug A stupid loss. I feel like, was that the one with the... Worrying radiation one? I feel like I had a worrying radiation one that was kind of insane, but I can't remember. Mobile, you can click on the profile picture after you tap on the screen and do the same. Okay, there you go. So you can do it on mobile, apparently. Okay, so he should board me again, I think, because I didn't kill the other guy, if I'm not mistaken. But looks like he's not boarding, so. You can do it on mobile, you just did it. Okay, nice. Slug A was jump one, sector three, OP big boy in solar flare. Yeah, I was like a two-shield guy with something insane. <laughs> Man, I've had a lot of really insane fights. Enemies, it feels like, lately. Okay, I'm not going to buy power because our next goal is hacking. Even though I like power for my weapon, I can move it around. If I give him 15 missiles, I will have 8 missiles left. Is that right? Yes. And I'll have 18 if I give him 5. 
Uh, I'm going to give him five and hope I don't... Okay, I was going to say, I hope I get reactor and not repair. That's actually quite a good deal. Civilian, yes. That means I have force red, but... Well... Pirate with a teleporter here. And then I had a Roxy win with only 26 ships defeated. That was intense when you cleared NGB and Sultan C and then the NGA phase 3 happened. Some good VODs. All right, I'm glad that's fun for you because to me it's just like... Remember all those times you died? Yeah, I do. Barely. Um, Is good sector... Is best sector now better than... Okay sector now with potentially good sectors later? Be bad if fourth abandoned. Yeah, and this would be bad if fourth Zoltan. So. Um. You think civilian for sure now? Think good now, better than mediocre now. Potential good, but potential bad later. I think I agree. This also gives us higher chance for uh, hacking. Could have a clone bay. That's it's true. Home bay, and what was the thing that we're talking about? Backup DNA bank saved us a lot on a boarding ship the other day, so maybe I need to look for clone bay backup DNA bank. Maybe those things are hacking or what I should go for next. How's the positivity in the hands doing today? Well, we lost this our current streak within 20 minutes, so the positivity is difficult, but the mental... I think I'm doing okay on the mental. My hands are okay. We just got a free crew. That always... Makes for a little bit better um, stuff. Do I want to move you then? I think I'll do that. It's Force Kazakh 4. You saw it on the VOD. Okay, good to know. How many... Uh, oh, this is a dead end. So if I'm going to go to the Distress... I have to backtrack if there's a store down there. I have anti-drone drone. One, two, three, four... It's not a dive if there's a store down here, but I'd have to go one, two, then immediately back three, four, and then I'd go into the nebula. I see three extra jumps. I guess I'll check it and hope there's not a store that causes me to have to backtrack. You looking at that sector map? Reminds me of an old Rand quote, something along the lines of, this game is going to screw me over. I'm just trying to map out the lowest amount of screwed overness I can bring to bear. Okay. Sounds like something I'd say, yes. Uh, don't hack my teleporter. Damn it. And this guy can do damage to me. Okay. Okay, this should pull the other crew. That he's got somewhere. Okay. I should have depowered teleporter, man. I always forget. Um, let's go heal in the meantime, I guess. I think I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to depower this anyway. So that the next hack can happen. And then I can go back over, I think. Otherwise, I'd be sent back over too quickly. Do one more bomb. Texas. Okay. Alright, well we're getting some free crew, that's nice. Uh, you wonder what happened. Look, Tomo, I just showed how you could check if you really want to see. But I'm not going to show it again. Somebody else in chat can tell you if you need to see how to do it. Can't do the TP power thing with only level 1 teleporter. The hack and the TP cooldowns are both 20 seconds. Gotta have a Zoltan for that, huh? Okay. Alright. You don't have any training. Alright, so the goal... Alright, good. I was hoping to see no store. Now, planning out our nebula jumps. So here's a quick tutorial on nebula jumps in FTL. If you're in a non-nebula sector, so that means if you are not in slug nebula or Uncharted Nebula, every two Nebula jumps equals one regular jump. So if you're using 
extended pursuit indicator, and you can see how many jumps you have. You can actually count them out and calculate exactly how many jumps you have. So, we currently have 10 normal jumps. So every two nebula jumps gets me one extra jump. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven. So if I skip this one and get all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, I will get three extra jumps. So I will have 13 jumps in total. 13, 12, 11. Okay, I can go between there. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and we have a little bit of freedom there. So I'm going to plan on going like this. Bam, 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 bam. And then down into here and hopefully find a store. That's my plan here. Some people might call that cheating. Extended Pursuit Indicator. I don't. With all the stuff FTL does to us, like... Jump three, 28 damage with the two damage with my shield, to my shields. I don't feel that cheaty, to be honest. Running away with a missile auto surveyor. Cool. Cool. I meant to hit his fucking shields there, goddammit. Can I dodge a missile? No. I'm not allowed to dodge missiles. Okay, he didn't dodge that. That's good. Stop him running. Now we get the missile down. It's apparently... Fuck this game. We don't get to get missiles down here. Okay. Go repair. I'm hearing a fire. In here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... Or doesn't spread to piloting or something. Uh, damage buffered missile, yeah. Begin the salt mining. It has already begun, BJA. Nebula jumps are 50% normal jumps, non-nebula sectors, and 8% non-nebula sectors. You won't get started on the indicator. Okay. <laughs> I can absolutely understand if some people feel like standard pursuit indicator is not fair or cheating. I still use it. To me, it's a tool. So, my copley just looked up the video. Sorry for the loss. That was a nasty fight. Hope I had some good runs. Me too, man. Me too. If you're with me that it's nothing. There's a breeze here on the border, but it's not... But it's hot and humid. Feels like you're sitting too close to a space heater in summer. Yikes. Well, we're finally getting some not crazy ridiculous hot weather in Dallas, so I'm happy about that. All right. Uh, automated Rebel Scout. Shieldless. Okay. We are immune to damage as long as I have my two shields up. And this guy will never run, so that's good. Now we are safe to do this. I can dodge train here, can't I? I could dodge and shield train here. And I think I should. Let me do this. Until his weapon's fixed, then I'll swap back over to two shields. Are these... What's the time on basic laser and mini beam? Are they both 10 seconds? I can't remember. Everyone got their own bridgeometer, yeah. What did you miss? Check the VOD, runs from robots. Sorry, people are going to ask that over and over. I guess I'm going to have to start adding a, a command. It's 10 and 12, okay. I'm going to have to start adding a command for uh, last death and highlight it and put it on, on there or something. Uh, actually, yeah, this is still on. Problem is power. I don't want to run out of O2 while I'm speed hacking, so that's why I'm very leery to do this with speed hack for the dodge training. Probably a good idea when Necro used to streak, he had a comment, a command to list the ships beaten on this current streak and also what caused last death. 
Yeah, maybe if I end the stream early because I'm trying to stay in a better mental, I'll try to set something like that up. I'll do it this way. Just go back and forth here. I don't want to mess this up, though. I need to be very careful. How's my training coming? My engine training is not going well at all. I don't know if I'm going to be patient enough, even with the speed hack, to get the full dodge training. Shield training done. Used, used to add clips to do is more work than is worth it to you. Yeah, that's... I have a feeling it's going to be far more wor work than I'm willing to spend on it, so... Alright, I'm just gonna do this and not care. I'll, uh, non-speed hack do it once I get the, uh, mini beam down, hopefully. Huh, wrong weapon. Problem is power. You've never heard Rand say this. Anyway, is, that, is that gonna be your new meme, talking about me saying I don't have enough power? <laughs> I mean, it's a half-power nebula. When do you not have enough power in a half-power nebula? Center seat indicator is fine. It just replaces the piece of paper with lines you'd be using. Moreover, the, we viewers can see the pursuit lines too. Yeah, well, that's why I don't feel it's cheating, is because, again, it's the whole sheet of paper argument, but... I, I still get... I still get... Most of my comments are, wow, that's great. How can I download it on YouTube? But some people are like, seeing the number of jumps is taking out some element of RNG or something like that. So it's like, I understand that people, some people do think that. That's I just make that comment because I've gotten YouTube comments about it before. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be able to get this one, but I don't think I'll be able to get this, this one. So if this is a store, I might have to reroute a bit. I might have to reroute. The vocal minority bringing the fun again, yes. Oh, this guy's really strong. But this is a double reward, I think. Sadly... Just like in politics, the vocal minority is what I remember. I'm sure that's probably a thing in politics, too, where it's the vocal minority whose voice is the one that gets too much attention or something. I don't know. Or is it vocal majority? I don't know. Vocal majority is a singing group. <laughs> All right. Good fight. Double reward. Take it. Hoverboards don't work in a nebula. You need power! <laughs> nice uh, Back to the Future 2 reference. You have Pursuit Indicator on, you still F up your jumps. Me too. Or still end up diving. Usually it's on purpose, but sometimes it's an accent because I miscount or something. What ship has an last streak? Check the VOD. This ship. If you see a streak of zero, the quick answer is whatever I'm playing is the ship that killed me. So... Damn it, that is that is the last thing I was hoping for. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to do some backtracking if I want to go to this store. This was the literal worst place the store could have been for me to get all of my jumps. Any other location, I could have gotten all my jumps. So just gotta go there, have enough for hacking. If extended pursuit indicator is cheating, then so is alt tabbing to check the FTL wiki. Wiki. That's some good weapons there. Having been part of the vocal minority in politics for a long time, you don't think you've ever felt listened to. <laughs> okay. Uh, but maybe I'm getting that mixed up with the vocal majority, the singing group. <sighs> I really want to get this burst laser too. You didn't even realize the streak ended, you just watched the VOD. That is some BS targeting, yeah. It's smart targeting and hard difficulty, man. Yeah, store more important. It is, it is. I'm gonna buy this, and then I need to think about my other options right now, because...
I don't have, I don't have this store as great it is as it is to get a burst laser two is really messing up my my jumps. So I gotta backtrack if I want to get a bunch of nebulas. And you might think they're just nebulas, Rand, but they're civilian nebulas, which can be very lucrative. I think I just gotta go something like one, two, three, four, and then like five, six if I wanna do that. Which sucks, but I think is the right play. Good luck with the run, thanks, Sleeping Dragon. Have a great walk. You and Carissa. I'm not gonna buy another weapon because we're hoping to get hacking at the store. Second store. We even got enough crew to manly search. It's true, we could. Sadly, none of them are expendable humans. Wow, we are an all Mantis, all NG ship from the two random crew we got. That's pretty cool. Biggest argument in Farb's opinion against the indicator is that it gives you info before you're supposed to have it, which isn't entirely true, and you're stopping there. Okay. That's power that cost me drone parts. I'd have to sell something to get hacking right now at the store. So that was, what, three jumps? Two or three jumps in a row with no scrap. So if this store has hacking, I'd have to sell small bomb for it, I think. This basic laser would not be enough. God, is it even worth going to the store if I can't afford hacking? I almost feel like it's not worth going to the store if I can't afford, afford hacking. What else could I do there? Thematic Mantis ship now? What's the... Th oh, the, the Mantis and NG slaves, yeah. Um... Uh-oh. Looks like the, the can of worms is going to be open. I'm just not going to read that discussion. <laughs> I'm skipping the store. Okay, this guy, we are immune to damage. Use our first, first laser 2 to get through the Zultan Shield. So this, this is my training ship. This is my dodge training ship. And I can cross-train on weapons if I want to. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> that was supposed to be a dodge train, and I left Burst Laser 2 on auto fire. I was like, wow, that Zoltan ship sure did explode fast. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. That was that is not what I meant to use uh speed hack for. Alright, well we got a little training though, at least. Okay, that was an accident, I promise. Now I actually can get hacking at a store. I'm still going to go with the route I was going to do, which is one, two, three. I don't know if that had hacking, and I don't know if this does, so it's basically a 50-50, so. I did just cheat with my uh, speed hack there. There's a cheat hack speed for the kill. At least it wasn't a small bomb that the enemy had. Oh, the yeah, small bomb that I was auto-firing? No hacking. All right, well, let's buy a couple of fuel, and that's all I'll do, because now I can sell basic laser to get hacking if there's an early store next sector. That Mantis was listening to the Doom OST. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> You said, you said Sector 4 was Kazakh. Well, apparently it's Sector 3 is Kazakh. Which I'm about 90% sure is the earliest you can get Kazakh Sector. Oh, man. I'm doing it. I don't care if this is suboptimal. I want Kazakh. And for a boarding ship, all we need for Kazakh is level 2 heal bait. So, let's go Kazakh hunting. He won't be at a distress beacon. This is Sector 3, so these ships could be pretty scary. But one bomb per fight to get weapons offline, I think, is not going to be too expensive to make some of these fights. 
Like this one, not too bad. Good. Okay, he's got a decent number of crew here. Uh, I might want another boarding, boarding border. Looks like we're good, actually. Yeah, we're good. Well, I sure wish this was the run that didn't kill me on jump three with 28 damage because we now have burst laser two and flak one. Wow. Because uh, Alka's always had a ship beacon or empty beacon. Uh, if you have long range scanners, he's always had a ship fight. A non distress, non hazard ship fight. That is where Kazak is. And now I'm really worried I'm going to have to end up selling it to get hacking at this store right here. I'm really worried about that. It's not Kazak, but Flak is a Flak. Flak is a Flak. Okay. That's a missile with two shields and a clone bay. All right, I'm going to let him board, and then I'm going to board in his weapons. No, board in his clone bay. Fuck you! Yeah, him stunning him to delay him that death might have actually helped us right there. Cool. Good fight. That gives us exactly enough for me to sell basic laser and buy hacking. So that is my cue to go check the store. Love seeing all the different spellings of Kazak in chat. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's double A, double Z, double K, double L. Wait, there's no L's in there. Nobody actually knows how to spell Kazakh. Nobody, not nobody, not know how. Not nobody, not know how knows uh, how to spell that uh, good old Kazakh. I bet Kazakh was down here that I didn't, didn't check though. Quarjwack, yeah, that's what it is. Silent Q. There's the hacking. All right, all right. Don't forget the silent X and the silent G squared in there. Heal NG. Thank you. Somebody somebody asked to be an NG, didn't they? And I've forgotten multiple times. Uh, Kazakh Pleth Killick. That looks like it, Mike, but I don't know if there might be some double I's in there that you may have missed. I, I, I don't know. K double A double Z triple A A K B run tune from Bob and Tom. Because the walk 99 underscore X. <laughs> that would be the uh, lead speak version of it. You know, Clombe might have been the buy there, but no, nah, I think hacking was the buy. Okay, now I need power and now I need weapon upgrades. You want to be the one of the Mantis? Okay, sure. Just call him my boy Zach. Okay, that's a good one. Right, you want to be one of the mantis. So the only one that's available is this one, and that is beat up. Doesn't his full name have an L? <laughs> uh, Kazakh Plef Killick. Yes, there is a Killick. There's even two L's, I think. All right. Wow. Well, so far, a bunch of empty jumps. Not. Not a great sign for us getting Kazak. He won't be here. It'll be free borders, damn it. Okay, it's humans. This really sucks. This event is just... There's no upside to it. Because you don't gain anything. I now have to either take a solar flare or go into my next jump without people healed. Oh, I hate that jump. It's not as bad as some jumps, but it's really annoying and no upsides. Is it like Koreans and Kazak is their family name and Killik is the actual name? Sure. It's got a missile. And they're running with teleporter. 
Okay, uh, poured it into my doors. For you guys, I need to board so he does not actually run. Fuck you, fuck you, game, fuck you. Okay, his missile's not down, but his FTL is delayed. I don't even know if I boarded with the right people. Um, okay, all right. All right, only one damage missile. I think that's all we took there. Could have been worse. We are literally an only Mantis NG crew, and it's continuing to be that way. Crazy. More NG slaves, that's right. Mantis and NG run only. That is this ship as intended, I guess. Um, I probably want level 2 hack even before I go for a weapon upgrade, don't I? Level 2 hack is probably better for boarding support. Although I'd love to have Flak 1 versus Laser 2 online. For missile defense, I think it's better to have level 2 hacking. Uh, we have a silly device, though. Which silly device might end up doing some boarding with the way this is ship crew is working out. How am I doing, Rand? How am I doing, Rand? That's a good question, me. Thanks for asking. Uh, I'm doing well, Plunder Pig. I'm doing pretty well. It's always sad when a streak ends. So sad. We'll go with sad instead of mad and ragey. Let's go with that. Should get rid of the NGs on the ship and run at Pure Mantis and call it Only Mans. Only Mans. Okay. Missile Burst Laser 2. All right. Um, I only have level 1 heal bay. I think to end this fight quickly, I need to hack heal bay. You weren't going to mention the streak. Sorry, it's all I can think about. <laughs> I think the best way to do this, hack heal bay, board heal bay, let them come into the heal bay, hack it, and then run out of the heal bay. Is that the way to do it? And then I bomb the heal bay afterwards? Level 2 heal? Well, we don't know that. And I only have level 1 hack is the problem, but I think that's still the fastest way to crew kill this. And I let him board, and I kill him with two Mantis, so I can have there will be less crew on his ship. Okay. Fuck you, FDL. There. Okay. And where did my pilot go? I pulled my pilot instead of silly device. That is... 100% not what I meant to do there. Alright, we killed him before a third shot went off. That was... I have no idea how I clicked that. No idea how I clicked that. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, I want the NG to get the repair training. Oops. I just got Mantis repair training, apparently. Hack bomb should get most, you would think. Hacking their missiles, usually I would agree, but on this fight... No, I think hacking heal bay ends the fight quicker than hacking missiles would delay because I only have level one hacking. Level one hacking against a missile means we stop one missile, I think, and I don't think that's as good as just ending the fight quickly by hacking heal bay and killing them quickly. Get an in and out double double of cheese, animal style with caramelized onions. Apparently, people love that whole animal style thing. I don't exactly know what that means, but apparently it's a favorite of people who go to In-N-Out and think In-N-Out's the best burger place. I want my weapon upgrade, but I'm gonna go level 2 hacking, even though I only have 5 drone parts, 4 fuel. Ugh. Alright, two more chances at Kazakh. It's not looking likely, chat. Animal style means raw. No, it, just, it means just mayo and ketchup sauce. What the hell is ketchup sauce? Oh, is it a sauce made out of mayo and ketchup? Damn it. I think I'd take this damage to just vent the mantis. 
Oh, great. They are going to my doors. That screws me. Here. Okay. Okay, we should be good now. We didn't take damage. Holy crap! I actually vented them in time. I did not think that would vent in time. Okay. Good job, me. Micro actually worked out there. Um, cheese and caramelized onions equals animal style? No, apparently it's the sauce. Not sure you like the sound of In-N-Out raw. <laughs> been a decade since you had In-N-Out. In-N-Out, I grew up in California, so In-N-Out was just another burger place. It's fine. I never thought it was amazing. This is, I mean, we always talk about food in this chat. In and out versus Whataburger go, you know. Alright. Okay, well. We're definitely hacking missiles here. Vent it, please. Okay. okay. Still has a missile online. Where's the fire? It's in my O2. Well, shit. I can't fix that in time. Uh, where's his other crew? There he is. Oh my god, it's spread three times. Okay. I don't want my own guys to die in a fire. But I need this fight to end, so I guess we do this. Go fire hunting. Heal. Not any of my systems, so it's got to be in an empty room. There it is. Ah, oh, frickin' no pause, man. Alright, I need to check if there's one down here or something. Fucking solar flares, man. I can't heal my dudes up again, so I gotta just jump away. No goddamn Kazakh. What a shitty sector this was. What a bad Mantis sector. No Kazakh. Bunch of solar flares. Empty jumps with three borders. You still prefer K Burger King is the best? Wow. Burger King is like bottom tier for me. Whataburger has breakfast from 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. is therefore superior. Your wife grew up in California. She loved it. Now there's one right near us in Houston. You've never stepped into McDonald's. Burger King went downhill. Uh, it's all shakers full. I've recently gotten back in FTL and expected says, after having the game for years, you always really enjoyed my YouTube videos. Learned a lot from my skills. Thank you. Um, got your first one on normal the other day. I think it was the bee layout of the third ship. Hard mode wins soon, hopefully. Nice. Grats on that, unexpected. Appreciate the nice comment. It's always great to get a win on FTL. All right, we're going to go. He's only got one shield, so we're going to turn on burst laser two. We are immune to damage. Thank God. At least we're immune to damage after the shitty sector. So let's go heal our dudes who need healing since there's no rush on this fight. You need healing. Best burger in your town is probably made at some small pub or sports bar. Yes. When I want a burger, I go to a place called Liberty Burger in Dallas, which is pretty good. Um, there was a place that I used to go. I mean, to me, the best burgers are always at small places that are not chains that are called something like JC's Burger House or Burger Pub or whatever. Uh, so that's where I go for burgers. I will very rarely go to Wendy's or Whataburger. And even then, I usually get chicken over a burger at those places. What's up, pie boy? Training montage? Yeah, I guess I could have finished off my engine training. I probably should have. Holy crap, best boarding support weapon in the game. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. 
Best burger you've had in town was at this random bowling alley. The concession stand was really tacked on as an afterthought. Serves 1010 10 food. Nice. Local joints always have the best stuff. Yeah. We have a place called the Map Room when you want burgers. A little hole in the wall. Yeah, a little hole in the walls are the best burgers. All right, well, it's not forced abandoned. I am at two fuel, 70 scrap. I am I am low on everything. If I don't have an early store, this could be bad. No store to start. Let's do this so I have the option for first flak. We have that option. Burger Pub, the pub for burgers. <laughs> Best burger in Kansas City can be found in a place called Burger Shack. Tiny spot. Cool. Stick a fork. We're done. Oh, I wouldn't say we're done yet. I'm about to be done because I have no fuel. And I'm gonna be about to be stranded in a mantis sector. You finally tried a small chicken place in your town. The wrap was good. The chicken was decent. And the fries were awesome. Nice. Third shield. Okay. Three shields. Boarding drone. Okay, he's only got three crew. I know because we pulled the boss when we did this. Oh crap, maybe he doesn't have only three crew. Uh, let's go board again. Oh, damn it. Couldn't wait. Okay. Holy crap, that is another amazing free weapon. Jeez. Holy shnikes. We've gotten a free Breach 2, Flak, and a Halberd Beam. Well, our weapons are done. Put a fork in her. Our weapons are done. I, I, we, we are. We are done with our weapons. But I got zero fuel, so I am now have amazing weapons and can't go anywhere. First world FTL problem, I guess. Am I going to get your run from the other day, please do? Well, I don't know, pie boy. What was your run the other day? You probably told me. Four gate weapons, you only get to use three. Uh, well, I use this one, phase one of the boss, to help crew kill. Then we swap it out for Halberd being phase two and three of the boss to kill the ship quickly is the plan. My plan, anyway. Probably shouldn't buy power since we need to buy fuel from whoever offers to sell us some. All dressed up, nowhere to go. That's right. Okay. Whoo, look at that weapon system. Okay, um... I'm gonna hack heal bay. Small bomb weapons. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hack weapons. Small bomb heal bay. That's what I need to do. Or maybe just board weapons, hack weapons, bomb weapons. Maybe that's the play. There we go. Finish them off before they get in there so I don't have to use another bomb. Would be perfect. Four fuel. Beautiful. Good fight. You have a lot of DACA. Hack weapons, board weapons, bomb weapons, man. That's the always the play. I always ask, man, should I like hack heal bay? And then Sleeping Dragon and Farb in my ear. The devil or angel on my shoulder. Hack weapons, board weapons, missile weapons. F their weapons. Reach 2 is Pog Champ, uh, Craigasm, all the good things. It is. It really is. All right, so Farb is an angel sent from heaven. <laughs> you have a man crush, sir. And if your man crush is on my doppelganger, I, I can't blame you, I guess. Power and weapon upgrades. Power and dodge upgrades, maybe. 
Although cloaking is the thing we really want. I need I need a store to buy drone parts and fuel. Or an actual fight that gives me some freaking drone parts and fuel, man. I think with all the rewards that's run, you can forget about free runs for the rest of, free weapons for the rest of the week. You know, RPG, you could say that. I'm gonna say this is our payment for getting 28 damage jump three last last run. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this is our payment for that. Okay. Okay, that's good. This means that there are NGs on his ship. Because if we took damage, that would mean there are Mantis on his ship. He doesn't have Heal Bay. Okay. I believe I am correct that I will only fight NGs here. Good. So I might need... The problem is there might be like four of them, so... I'm going to save... I'd also like backup battery would be another thing I'd like to get. Okay, now we're safe. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I want fuel and drone parts. The game gives me frickin' humans. Who was that guy? I want to be the vented human. Billy Bob Joe will get you uh, as vented human again. This is not the run to join my ship as a human. Get out. You just noticed you weren't here for the start of the stream? Yeah. Yeah, within 20, within 10 minutes, our streak got reset today. Not, not my favorite way to start out the day. You're watching Beowulf. You didn't enjoy it that much. That much. Is that the munch? Was that the one with um, Angelina Jolie as like the bad girl? The bad guy? Bad girl? I never saw it. I heard it wasn't that good. Melt him down for fuel, if only. Jettison. Okay, store just in time for some fuel. I have 42 scrap. I need all of the consumables. I don't need any of these weapons. I also would like the backup battery. Ooh. Man. I really want this backup battery. I also want to repair. I'm just going to buy a backup battery and repair two, which is I need more drone parts, so I'll just buy a couple of everything. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I know more good weapons we can fit on our bar. We wouldn't be able to use them all at the same time anyway. I mean, there's an argument for just selling Halberd Beam, but... I have a feeling we're eventually going to run out of missiles if I keep using Breach 2 too much, so I want to use Flak first when I have the opportunity. I need power now. I need power. I need all the consumables. I mean, I watch FTL could say all he wants about I need to buy more power, but if I had bought power, I would be even more behind in all this other stuff, so... Yeah, that is a bomb. Okay. Perfect. Killed him so fast, he didn't even get to fire a missile. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, uh, you just had an early access moment in your game. Your car phased through a bridge and died. Luckily, you could get you could god mode a new one in. Everyone thinks that's fair? Question mark. I have no idea. That would be a lot more context for what game you're playing and how early access and all that. As a noob, you'd have sold Halberd there for your own safety. Then, as a pause noob, you don't run that many weapons on your boarding ships. Well, maybe uh, Sleeping Dragon would agree. He would probably. Not have even upgraded his weapons because all we need is bombs plus boarding. 
One thing we also have to consider is uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass being able to afford that at a store. I should probably save my scrap up to be able to afford that if I see it. I really hope I get some fuel here, because even though I bought out all the fuel at the store... Okay, I can't get out of the sector with our current fuel, but now we can barely. Alright, we have enough, we can get... Golden Shield Bypass at the store would be the next important augment for our boarding support. Could swap over to Clone Bay, too, for that protection. Having actual weapons is useful. I agree, Mike. I agree. Cloaking is the system we want, though. I think I just repair fuel drone parts, I think. Uh, that's before we even talk about the firebomb that was there. Like to have weapons on boarding ships when you might need them, yeah. As much as I love Clone Bay, I think I gotta do... Something like this. I'm gonna do just that much repair right now. Even though I could use more. We still do have cloaking to buy. Weapons to upgrade, advanced, no, uh, Zoltan Shield bypass to find. We still have things we want to do. You always thought all boarding ships eventually turn into gunship. Yeah, I used to think that too. Or I used to play that way, maybe I should say. Okay, drones offline, that's good. Chance to get our dodge training maxed here. Nice. Because other scouts exist, weapons on boarding ship are desirable. Yeah, I guess. Uh, sleep, what I again, what I hear Sleeping Dragon say in my mind is, just get Clone Bay and you can kill auto scouts safely. So. I have all the experts in chat and other experienced players reminding me of things in my brain. I will say buying Clone Bay was very expensive there, and I wouldn't have repaired as much as gotten fuel and consumables, so... I don't dislike my situation, but there are still... things we could have done differently this run for sure. Really, every ship should be a gunship if it gets the right mix of weapons. A 10-10 gunship is more flexible than a 10-10 boarding ship. Um, I don't know. That that feels like something that people could debate. But of course, when I'm f when I'm full on crew, I get the successful version of this. When I have no crew, I can't get this. All right. Well, um, sorry, silly device. We're gonna morph you into new silly device. And that guy's training that the other guy didn't, so there we go. Um, do you want to put you anywhere with your weapon training? Do you want to free up this guy, maybe? Now I can have these guys be my secondary boarders. I do this, and this, and this, and save those positions. I can go like this and send them over as my secondary borders. I think I'm going to do that. That means Silly Device on weapons. Sorry, Silly Device. The Mantis is on your doors. When then you lose XP on the board and crew, then... Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you want to kill quicker and safer than Clone Bay Zergling. thing about boarding auto ship fights with Clone Bay is you can only safely do it when your fight is safe and it's the dangerous fights you should be worried about. Well, my Copley, I know what Sleeping Dragon would say is it's safe if you hack the weapons, and that's... Uh, unless they have double offensive drones and your shields are low. So that's also situational. With DNA Bank, it is always safe, yeah. And if I go NG, I have a potential for double force Zoltan. Do we go NG because it's slightly better than Uncharted Nebula with no long range scanners? And have a potential for double Zoltan. Clone Bay plus uh, backup DNA bank is expensive. It is. It is. Weapon hacks are not a make fight safe button. 
Uh, with certain builds, they are. If you have level 2 hacking and you board with 2 crew, Sleeping Dragon is the one who... I think you get 2 or 3 weapon power down in time, and if you have rocks, it's even more. I, it depends on your boarding party and the enemy weapons. As always, it depends, but... We have handle Zoltan Border Police twice. With no mind control with this crew, probably, but... Uncharted Nebula is going to have a lot of auto scouts, probably. Hmm. NG Sector 5. Subscribing, NG Sector 5. You can take a lot of weapons offline, then they small bomb your clone. But yeah, you don't do it if they have small bomb. It just, it depends. You're not going to board every, uh, unless you have backup DNA bank. But Sleeping Dragon all the time talks about hacking weapons, boarding weapons on auto scouts with clone bait. BJA, thank you for the 16 months. Bomb the salt shaker. Okay, appreciate that. Oh, sorry, I missed, I missed the bits from Fortune and BJA. Sorry about that. I had my wrong screen up over here. Um, oh, God, I'm going NG. I really hope I don't have double Zoltan after NG. It's not a recipe to win every fight. Yeah, and I'm sure he wouldn't say it was, but... I know I understand where he's coming from, and I've seen the value of hacking weapons, boarding weapons on auto scouts, so I don't want to minimize that strategy either. It's not a win all, there's no win all button, as we all know, in FTL. But there are ways to play around the things. All right, I'm gonna try to get, I think we guarantee get this missile offline. Fuck you, FTL. Okay, missile's down. That's not on fire. Okay. I don't think we ever get this out, so... Now we'll double Mantis anyway. Well, that was... Their drones blocking with their face. Wonderful. right as I fired, which means he gets a shot off, damn it. Yeah. Uh, it's a great tactic. What you're saying is that given the option, you prefer a ship that can deal with as many different bad fights as possible. I think what it really comes down to is not forcing weapons on a boarding ship and putting yourself behind versus not buying weapons when you can because you're a boarding ship. Yeah, so balance. Balance. I would agree with that. I don't feel like I've been forcing weapons on this ship. I mean, I got a free flak one and a halberd beam and a breach. The only thing I bought was a burst laser before I have all those, so I don't think I've done any forcing to gunship on this ship. Uh, I guess you're talking about chat for the people who say weapon ships are better than boarding ships. Maybe that's what you're saying. You can reach the boss in this game, but you can't seem to make it through the last battle. What's killing you, Gamb? What's killing you? we got a lot of experienced people in chat. Maybe we can help you out. Give you suggestions. Phase one, phase two, phase three. What's up, Grima? How are we doing today? Only two of your eight patients came to therapy today. Ah, it's a day off, right? So I could buy again I could buy Clone Bay. However, I feel like there might be a small chance I could get cloaking here. Um, if I sold Halberd Beam, would that would that allow me to afford cloaking? 142 scrap. I'd have to sell two things to get cloaking online. Cloaking is really good. Is it worth? Is it valuable enough to sell some of my weapons? Who load out and cut your ship into a thousand pieces in five seconds and rebuild it in five seconds? <laughs> it makes for a really interesting decision, especially on the ship with a small bomb. Phase three gets you every time. All right. 
Are you getting cloaking and hacking as your extra systems? Cloaking is the best system for surviving the overcharge phases. And if it's boarding that's killing you, um, learning to deal with the borders can be very difficult. I think you need to position better so you can repair between battles. Position better. No, repairing between battles isn't... It's the repair station's always random, Gam, so you can't you can't count on that. It's getting through phase one and two without taking a shiznit ton of damage. If you haven't tried cloaking, it's the second best system in the game. If you haven't tried cloaking, that's your problem. Cloaking, the best system in the game, apart from your starting systems, is hacking. The second best system in the game is cloaking, which is what we're buying right now. I know it sounds like simple answers and very definite things. There are a lot of things you can say are arguable in this game, but the best players in the world all agree. I think. I'm pretty sure everybody, like Mike, Sleeping Dragon, Hollow, Fra uh, yeah, probably Lethal Frag, and all the other players would agree with that statement. Those are just widely agreed. Those are the best systems in the game. Yeah, buying hacking and cloaking is your basic system loadout that you want to get every run you can. And you want to kill as many crew phase one as you can so that phase three you're not getting overwhelmed by borders plus mind control. My tier list of systems is hacking first, cloaking second, mind control third, and then depending on the ship, drone control sometimes useful, teleporter is in there. Teleporter better than mind control in certain situations. Usually it's when you are forced to have it. Oh, free borders with Mantis and a heal bay. Or he's got an ion plus a mini beam and a... Okay, I don't think this guy can do damage to us. You remember when there were systems you haven't tried before? What a good feeling. He linked your beginner's guide, but that's a good one to watch first. Uh, I also have a beginner's guide, so... Uh, I forget what the command is for it, but there are many beginner's guides out there that are very useful. Uh, I need to deal with the borders first. Yes, he can't do damage, so that's good. He has a heal bay. No clone bay, which is good for us. You have come to the right place if you need a beginner's guide for FTL. There are multiple available. <laughs> uh. Mine might actually be the worst of the beginner's guides out there. I don't even know. I haven't watched others. Um, I wish I had sensors. I just realized that I don't even have sensors. Okay. He's going to have a bunch of Mantis on his crew, on his ship. I need to be very careful here. Okay, um... Okay, we're winning this fight. Barely. Uh, I'm, I'm losing my fucking crew. I fucking knew it. I fucking saw that shit happening. Oh, I almost just got fucking screwed there. Okay. Oh, God. Fucking damn this fucking ship. I now need to run around and not get more fucking, fucking crew dead. God damn it. Fucking damn it. And I've vented like four goddamn crew this run, too. God damn it, man. Alright, at least we get a crew back. Alright, it's fine. I need to I need to let it wash over me. Not let the mental break. Fucking hell. I get so goddamn frustrated. My hands are fine, thank you for asking. But I shouldn't yell at chat. God damn it. <sighs> you know what fucking teleport sucks at? Fucking hard mode no pause. I goddamn hate it. I don't actually hate it, but it's so frustrating when I lose crew. It is so fucking frustrating when I lose crew. There's a goddamn hard mode no pause. If I could have paused, I could have microed my crew around, kept them from dying, swapped some weapons out, get a breach bomb up or something. <sighs> okay. 
Yeah, put the dead crew in a box, wrap it up, take it down a wind, uh, take it down the river with the, the the kittens and flush them down the toilet. I don't know. You want to be in the you want to be the human? Sure thing, sure thing. All right, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. All right, what can I do to help n not let that happen again? Clone bay that I can't afford. Yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Quest marker next sector. Do I even go to a store? One, two, three, four, five. Go to stress first. River's gonna get blocked up with all those boxes, that's right. This guy gives me a map, this is a complete waste. I have a store so I can buy fuel after this. Do we ever take this chat? What are the possible outcomes of this? Power, scrap, map. Is it one in three that we get a map? Or is there something else I'm not remembering? Gonna be like repairs or something? You can get an item from it. Can be a weapon, so it's four things. Can it be a store? Really? Surely this can't be a store. Because if it's a store, you could just buy fuel from them. I don't think it can be a store. We have a store after this jump, Flurchin, so with two fuel, I can buy fuel the next one. The problem is... The map is the worst, because the map is useless because I don't have any... There's no value in it. I can't, I can't give away four fuel when I'm on two, damn it. I just go to the store and buy fuel. I was hoping to get enough scrap to be able to buy, I don't know, sensors or something. I'm spend all my scrap on fuel and repairs right now. He was going to pay 37 scrap. Well, then I missed out. All right, that's a good, good NG free stuff reward there. What do I need? What do I need right now? What do I need, chat? <sighs> the reason I'm frustrated about that fight is because I knew there were Mantis on his ship. I knew he had a heal bay. I should have hacked. The problem was after I boarded him, I couldn't hack. Because if I tried to bypass his two defense drones to get my hacking through, I wasn't going to be able to micro my Mantis at the same time to keep them alive. So I was in a catch-22. Do I micro my Mantis to not let them die, or do I micro my drone to get past their drone, uh, my hacking to get past their defense drone? So I was like stuck in a catch-22. So I should have, if I wasn't fucking stupid, and I'm not stupid, but if I was playing better, I would have hacked before I boarded. I need to hack every fucking fight. I just need to hack every fucking fight, or I'm going to get in that goddamn situation where I can't control where the borders can go. I need to hack every fight. I need to hack a room. If I don't hack a room, I'm going to lose crew because of bullshit. Oh, too many crew, anti-boarding drones, heal bay shit. What you hated about the fight was you 2v1 to Mantis for ages, but yet my first Mantis still nearly lost. Yeah, it felt, it felt like I got pretty shit on by... How much, how low my mantis got from that fight, but it was still four mantis versus my two, so I still should have hacked. Big giant missile, three lasers, heal bay, this fucking ship. Okay. All right, what do I hack here? Hack weapons, board weapons, shoot weapons is probably the play. And I cloak the bomb, uh, cloak the missile. I don't have level two cloak for the forever hack cloak cycle yet and I need lots of power again okay now the missile's down for good well not for good but for now 
I might need more borders. He has a heal bay. Okay, is that down? Okay, it's down. Okay. Okay, somehow it took damage there. It must have timed out. I think there's a fire in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, the main issue with that fight that I lost crew was that it was... They they had fucking free Mantis borders, and then they had effing four Mantis crew on their ship. So, like, there was no way for me to win with only two Mantis unless I hacked something. And by the time I realized that, I was in the catch-22 of I can't get my hacking drone past their defense drones while microwing my crew to keep them alive. So it's just I should have hacked. Should have hacked. I was mad at myself. Alright, at least it's not a... At least it's not a Zoltan forced green sector here. Don't they get medbots in the fight too? Yeah, I think they do on that NG ship. So I basically had to kill their heal bay. Which I think I did, but... Alright, what do we want? Zoltan shield bypass, that's what we want. We have a charge laser to sell. Four nebula jumps. If Getting all four doesn't give us all our jumps because there's not a jump within one jump away from this one so I need an uneven number will do it so I only need one nebula uh, three nebula jumps instead of all four so if one of these is manly search I'm gonna want to have this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that upgrade right now all enemy NG ships have medbots yeah there it is rewarded for the first time in a long time, I get level 2 piloting before a potential manly search. We actually get manly search and we don't lose the 50-50 of getting nothing. Yes! Really good, really good. Did Mantis A let us down? Yes, it did. He has a heal bay. Rebel rigor. Okay, so I should hack weapons, board weapons, turn on my breach bomb. All right, let's go through, let's think this through, because Rebel Riggers and Rebel Disruptors are the absolute effing worst. This guy has a basic laser, burst laser, two, three shields, and some sort of drones. If he has boarding drones, I'm going to have to deal with that with, with uh, my shield mantis and my door human. If he has defensive drones, i got to bypass those with my hacking drone. He can't board me. If he's got a boarding drone, if he's got a boarding drone, do I lead my crew on board? No, because they'll just keep sending more over and over. So, hack weapons. What if he has offensive drones? Do I hack his offensive drones instead of the burst laser? I think I still hack weapons. Got a boarding drone of some sort. Fine intruder into my hacking. So I better just hack there. He has another effing missile too. Great. Okay, that's good. Got a repair drone. Not as good. Should not have you there. If you'll bay down, keep it down. Teleport into shields. That should let us 4v2, 4v3, whatever. Okay, good. Good fight, good fight. That is the second free laser charger we've gotten in like a couple jumps. That is very weird and random. Okay, that was a good fight. Iron Intruder. I feel like we dealt with that pretty decently well. Didn't lose crew, didn't take damage. Always a good fight. I should have moved my NG out of doors because level 1 doors is worse than no doors versus iron intruders. Alright, what am I hoping from for this for these stores? Zeltan Shield Bypass. And just, just sell a bunch of our extra crap we have right now. And fuel and drone parts probably. 
Well, okay then. Just give me exactly what I need, exactly when I ask for it. That's kind of perfect. Okay. Um, sounds like a Sam Adams commercial. Always a good choice. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check one more store before I spend a bunch of scrap on like shields or other upgrades. I want to see what we're working with. Sensors. It's a bit wind more, but I really actually want to get that. So I'm going to get sensors. So we need to be here in eight after going through one more nebula. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay. All right. So power for days. Shields. Book two, hack two. Bunch of other things we can use. Streamer luck. Yes. I'm so lucky with my streamer luck today. So lucky. Yeah, I was thinking about buying a drone part. All right, nine. If I'm only using one hack, hacking drone per fight, I think I'm okay for drone parts. Besides, I feel like getting my systems upgraded is more important right now. Okay. Pretty sure there's more crew in my O2. Yes, there are. Okay, we deal with this. Thank you for bringing, bringing snacks, humans. At least you aren't like those stupid, filthy solar flare humans who brought no snacks. Worst humans, the snackless humans. Can't vent them, didn't bring snacks. Those guys brought snacks. So we won't vent you. We'll just feed you to our mantis instead. Okay, um, so seven, six, five, uh, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, one, two. So if I get the distress, I can't get the quest if I go over here, it looks like. So do I care about the distress? We could be carefully cut the ship out. I kind of want one more weapon power so I have the option of first halberd or flak halberd. But I should probably get shields and power first. I'm just going to have the halberd beam on my bar for potentially cut the ship out, I guess. The mantis eat the corpses? The mantis love humans. They are delicious. That's that's what my head cannon is anyway. Mantis love to be boarded by humans because then they can eat the humans. We make probably a very stupid joke about that all the time on this chat, so... In this chat. One more engine to have 100% dodge be good. Uh, I'm going to swap back, yeah, since I can't power both of those. I don't have the option. Distress Beacon is the only thing where we can get a blue option for a beam, I think. All right. Auto Assault. So if I hack piloting breach bomb weapons... Oh my god, this guy's ship is insane. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to swap my weapons over while cloaking his first volley. Okay. This is an ion bomb with the slow charge time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can cloak the next ion bomb. Damn it, I it's microed there. Okay, good. All right, we should be safe now. One more volley at the weapons. We can never ion bomb my shields, and we are now safe. Ooh, okay. 
For, uh, is this an... This is an auto assault. For an auto assault, this is... I was gonna say on the weak side, double bombs could be terrifying. Thankfully, cloaking hacking saves the day. As usual, cloaking hacking saves the day. Welcome back, Sleeping Dragon. Hope you and Carissa had a good walk. A map. Pretty much planned out my route, didn't I? Well, I guess I can see that that's an asteroid field. Four, three, two, one, I guess. Okay. So what do I want to get next? Power. Dodge. I'm going to get power before dodge. This whole discussion about me always being short on power recently. I want power, I want dodge, I want weapon upgrade. That's what I want. You went down to the sea. It's very bright and sunny out. You live near the sea? Oh, man, that's awesome. Down by the sea, yeah. On a blanket with my baby, it's where I'll be. Good old under the boardwalk. Um, this guy really loves heavy lasers. Okay, we should be fairly safe now. Okay, he's got three crew. One more volley here. Cool. And now I think we're safe to board. It's about a five to ten minute walk from your house. There's no beach. We we're walking along a cliff. Very cool. You live in the UK, right? So it's probably it's probably not, you know, Pacific Ocean beautiful beaches, but more Atlantic Ocean cold, windy cliffs or something. <laughs> Thank you for the Prime sub, unexpected. Appreciate that. Welcome to the randoms. That's a new one. Which reminds me, we got a Prime sub. You're not using it. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. South coast of the UK, the English channel. Nice, nice. All right, all right. Quest. Uh, before I do more upgrades, let me see if this is a store or not. It's near France. It's sure not a good view. Okay. All right. Well, I vented about four crew this run, and we are back at max crew, even with my Miss Micro that lost us some crew. So, I guess hashtag never punished or something. All right. So, dodge. Cloak. No, let's go weapons before the cloak. And then I'm going to swap first laser for halberd beam. Now we have the option to go Flak Halberd or Breach or whatever. Let's go like this. Can you be the walking battery? Uh, okay, RPG Nerdos didn't ask before you, sure. BJA. Since it's a uh, Zoltan on shields, I usually give RPG the uh, preference on that, but you ask. Quickly. Uh, okay, one, two. Okay, that's all we can do. All right. The civilian sector has helped us get caught up some. My fuel's not doing great. He's got double missiles. Damn it, I didn't. That. I don't know if they actually win this fight. Now they do. Oh god, don't let them do another bit of damage. Okay. I need to kill them quickly before we take another missile, although we can hack it. I sometimes forget the second hack. Wow, so many crew. I'm now back to venting crew again. Jeez. Okay. I cannot believe how many crew we've got in this run. I feel like my... Final score is going to be low because our scrap rewards have been low while our crew reward has been just off the charts here. Oh, I, I watch FTLs down 
what, near Brighton? You're not far from Burn Burnmouth, Bournemouth? I don't know how to say that. You're in Northamptonshire. All our UK folks, nice. You all should have a, like a stream get together or something. Except if you're anything like me, you're an antisocial person who just hangs out on Twitch all the time, so you probably won't do that. <laughs> Power. Level 3 hacking, level 2 cloaking, power, weapon upgrades. Those are the things we want to get. Need two more weapon upgrades. You've always lived near the sea. Being away from it would give you the creeps, huh? Interesting. Well, you are a shieldless ship. So, always got to love shieldless ship in a, an asteroid field. So... You know, meeting people that you, like, hang out on the internet with, you know, and, like, that you, like, play games with or hang out on Twitch with. I've only had, like, one or two get-togethers like that. And the first one was when, it was when I was in college. And me and a buddy and of mine and his wife met our WoW guildies. And we went and, like, played paintball or something. It was pretty fun. The problem is, I've told this story before, my friend who I went with his wife to this thing, his wife ended up cheating on him with one of the people at the, at that one of the guildies we met there. So not a good track record for meeting people that you have only hung out with on the internet before. The, uh, nice, not double force Zoltan, double force civilian is perfect. That sucks, yeah, it's insane, it's actually crazy. You're down to get Rand in a pub somewhere with everyone, have a few pints, especially if that pub is called the Winchester. <laughs> nice. I'm down. Shogi would show up for that, I'm sure. Reminds you of the YouTube series, The Guild. Did they have stuff like that? You traveled to Texas, Florida, and Colorado to meet your internet friends. That's cool. I don't know if there's anything I wanted here, but we should buy fuel. Uh, so this is Sector 7. I have 11 jumps with a bunch of nebulas. Nebulae, so I should just buy all of the fuel. Okay, so we're gonna get level three hacking first, then power, then probably work towards the weapon upgrades. So, 100% success rate for you meeting your internet friends. Nice, that's nice. You moved across the ocean to live with someone you met on the internet, and you're still here about almost 20 years down the line, so you've had some success with it. Well, nice. I'm glad yours worked out better. <laughs> this is a freaking huge civilian nebula, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's not a nebula. So ten nebulas. I only need, I need an uneven number. So I'll skip the first one and maybe try to get the rest of them if I can. Can I do that? Yeah, I should be able to get all of these. The connections look good. Big giant civilian sector se sector seven. We're gonna have the swaggiest sensors that ever swagged and all the swagging down. I hope so. Double missiles, Mantis bomber, eat giant heal bay. Okay, so hack the weapons first, then board the weapons. God, die. God, we're losing this fight. I don't have enough crew now. And he dodged my fucking missile. He dodged it. He dodged my bomb. Don't die. Okay. Uh, I need cloaked by time right now. He has dodged every fucking missile. Fuck you, FTL. Oh, God damn it. I don't have enough fucking power. Stop fucking dodging my bombs, you shitty fucking game, please. Thank you. Both his bombs are down. Thank God. Okay. 11 missiles. He has no O2, and we've actually reached that. It's 
fucking dodges. Okay, fixes O2. Alright, we did it. I think we're there. I think we're there. Jesus, what a fight, man. Mantis bombers with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, depending on what those missiles are, weapon power. Christ, that is so stressful on no pause. Is there a reason you often heal to 23? Yes. Three value points for missiles to my ship. I used to heal to 20, and then during the tournament, Freddy, another uh, FTL streamer, said he likes to heal to 23 for value from a three damage missile, and I liked that idea, so I started doing it all the time. I can see the weapon power. Oh, I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is eight weapon power. Okay. Uh, power. The no clone bay is freaking me out right now because if I lose more of my boarding crew again. Half power. Pull the pilot. Don't dodge. Thank you. And my guys are vented. I'm using so many missiles. Okay. Okay, we got two missiles back. This is nice. Boarding ships are so stressful to me. I don't think boarding ships will ever not be stressful to me in FTL, Harmonopause. It's just, unless I have a clone bay plus a da back FDNA bank, I'm just always one miss micro, one bad missile, one fucking bomb away from losing my boarding crew, man. It's so freaking stressful. If I have enough for clone bay, would I buy it at the store? I think I would. Clone Bay, all right. Let's go ahead and do it. Even though I want other upgrades, should I do it? I should, right? I think I should. Should run the speed hack in the background, set the game to 0.8. Yeah, nobody will notice that. Definitely not cheating there. Slowing down, no pause. I'm not pausing, I'm just playing at 0 0.0005 speed. Speed, speed, speed. What do you mean that's cheating? I don't know what you mean. Follow your heart. Okay. Okay. Too late on this, aren't I? Okay. Follow your heart. That's what I always do. Thanks, Napoleon Dynamite. Thanks. That's what the bakers always say, right? Add cinnamon and sugar from your heart or whatever. <laughs> yes. If you don't cook with love, you can taste it. That's what they say on those, like, uh, you know, like Master Chef or Top Chef. You know, you're cooking with your mind. I don't feel like you're cooking from your heart. Yes, I need my left aorta to start helping me with my cooking. Computer is old and doesn't run as fast. What can they do? Sue you? <laughs> yeah, blame it on my PC. Alright. Alright. Two power. Would delay my weapons. I could go flak one, reach two, burst laser two if I get the next weapon up with some power. Let me hold off because I'm not sure... How much power I have for my systems when I'm not in half power nebula right now? 
The secret ingredient is love. Love is an extra three cups of butter. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'll have nine fuel. I think I, I think I'm okay with that deal. Nine fuel. Yeah, that should be good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't actually know how many jumps I'm gonna have here, but. Yeah, I probably want to do the weapon upgrade next. That'll at least give me Flak Breach first, and then we can work towards Halberd with the Flak first next after that. Love is bacon. Bacon is love. Or if you're dealing with Gordon Ramsay, this has enough oil, the, the U.S. tried to invade it. <laughs> All right. I wonder if he had a writer give him that. Okay, he's got cloaking. I mean, clone bay, and it's level three. Damn it! And I, I do have clone bay. Okay. This missile's still online. All right, we'll be able to cloak the next one. Board here. What the hell? Good. All right, we need to refresh our guys after this. Ugh. All right, you know, he's got to be refreshed anyway. That should do it. Another reason I don't like boarding ships on no pause is even when we're like quite strong and I have all my systems, the micro required to move power around, to be able to attack at the right time, cloak at the right time, aim your, aim your weapons, Dolphin flip your crew, deal with borders, teleport your extra crew. Just, it's, it's so, it's frickin' StarCraft 1 and 2 micro, man. And I don't play those games because it's hard. It's so frickin' hard. Secret ingredient is crime. Okay. Actions per minute seems like they're a problem. They are. APM is, it's not really as bad as probably the... Pro level StarCraft stuff, but man, it, it feels that way when you're doing it, and when one small misplay can lose you a run, you know. It just it it feels overwhelming. Okay, so flak versus laser with breach right now. Trick is run weapons too, then you have infinite money to buy access power. Run weapons too, so only breach bomb. Cool. I think I can go one, two, three, four. If I can't, I have an out here and an out up there, so. All right, at least they brought snacks. I don't want to vent you or you. Okay. I don't want to lose training on these guys. Human is fine. Human can lose training because we'll be venting him. Good. So vent our borders again. Uh, you don't want to interrupt anything or take away from the current run, so it doesn't have to be this run, but in the future, could you get a Mantis on sensors named after you? Not sure how naming requests work, but if it's possible, that would be awesome. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you're very, you are being very Canadian with your request. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt anything. Uh, you're not interrupting anything. I'll get you right now. Uh, yes, Kletzkin is not named after anybody, right? So there you go. We can get you right now, unexpected. You don't, you don't have to be uh, quite so apolo apologetic about your request. <laughs> Alright.
right, so you are our secondary border, but primary uh, sensor mantis. So do I want to store right now? I think all I want is scrap, because we have everything we need for the win, so I'm going to skip that store. Now it looks like my path should work out. So, one more weapon power, and also more power and value points. What do I want most? Maybe teleporter upgrade. No, cloak 2. Should be cloak 2 and power, so I can have the cloak 2 hack 3 safety net. You just don't want to take the extreme experience away from others due to your request. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You won't. Hack my battery, that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's really good dodges. I'm being greedy with drone parts here. I don't need to be as greedy with missiles now. But I do want to be greedy with drone parts. So now we should be safe. I'm so sorry for Canadians apologizing too much. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to apologize. Although I appreciate the politeness. <laughs> I'm sorry for apologizing too much. The ultimate Canadian thing to say. As Pie Boy would say, we love our Canadian friends around here, especially because over when Pie Boy, uh, I don't know if Burger has streamed lately, but we have a lot of Canadian friends who hang out on Burger and Shogi and Pie Boy stream whenever they stream. All right, there we go. That should be first flak halberd available now. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have... Yes. I'm going to go like this for now. So we have the mix of crew killing, a breach, or bypassing shield with that, plus the flak halberd OP ship killing ability there canadians are brits eager to say sorry for minor inconveniences not even canadian but this is not the first time someone's told you you're almost being over polite in requests <laughs> you're in good company i'm pretty sure i do the same thing sometimes all the time a lot of the time some of the time Trying to not have to refresh any of my people who are actually manning systems. That's why I'm being very specific with which crew are actually fighting off the borders. You don't think you apologize that much, but you are an apostate Canadian. Oh, is that you moved? Did you move from the UK? From Can Canada? From Canada to the UK? On behalf of the Germans, sorry, but not actually sorry. <laughs> well done, well done. You tend to err on the side of being over polite than being slightly rude. I should probably work on that on my stream. I just yell at chat anytime I'm angry at FTL because the abusive relationship that is FTL punishing me, then I forward on to punishing chat for them trying to either be funny or help. Or troll, you know, because there's definitely lots of trolling. Those guys didn't bring snacks, did they? Darn you, FTL, and your non-snack bring in free borders. You're from the east coast of Canada, Nova Scotia originally. Nice. You're here for my venting. Great. Glad to hear it. All right. This Sector 7 is probably the one that's made up for the bad sector. What was it? Four Mantis where I lost those Mantis crew at the end. go. Got an anti-personnel drone. Uh, alternative snacks. Thank you for the four bits. 
two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar. All for the leopards. Stand up and holler. Can you all guess who my high school, what my high school mascot was? Nice. All right, refresh all but the human. Feels backwards. Uh, fear the mighty chain laser. Uh, oh, I missed some chat here. Can't imagine ev anyone ever thinking, you know, it's better than Canada. Let's go to England. <laughs> we just shot a whole laser one in an auto scout with a chain laser, and both projectiles were shot out of the sky by the chain laser. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty rare. I've seen that, but yeah, it's crazy when that happens. That's a bastardized version of the Gators chant. I'm sure most high school football chants are bastardized versions of some college football chant. I'm pretty sure my high school school song was actually UT Austin's school song that we changed that we used and changed the words to. So I'm I'm guessing high schools do that a lot, especially in my part of the world, which is, you know, Texas. Well, damn, I don't even... Oh, I know I do. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's my... What's the goal for the rest of the... Dodge and power. That's the goal here. Um... Your high school's fight song was Washington State University's rhythm and song with words changed up. You th even think WSU ripped it from another school? Probably. I'm guessing. I'm guessing almost every school got it from another school who got it from another school who got it from a pub song or something. I'm pretty sure that the that America's national anthem is like a an English pub song or something like that. Uh, okay, I meant to quote that, but I didn't. How go the FTL runs? Well, we got reset first, first third jump of the day, so I'll let you decide how it's going. We're at a streak of zero. I'm never in a great... I'm, I'm never at peak happiness when that happens at the start of the stream, I'll say. No, it's not God Save the King. Isn't God Save the King? God Save the King. God Save the King. Or something like that. Pretty sure Handel's Messiah uses things like, uh, what is it? Or that's Zadok the priest or something. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's God Save the King. I think it's something else. Many hymns were 1600s to 1800s bar song melodies. Yeah. But I don't know. Somebody can Google it right now and tell us the answer. Maybe it is. I just, I don't think that's what I remember hearing that it was. But I could be wrong. Brings up the age-old question, which came first? Schools or their fight songs? I do not know the answer to that. But maybe it is. Maybe it was God Save the King or Queen or something. Ugh. Oh, fucking hell. I moved... How, how, is, how is my mouse sucking so much today? I swear I've moved my pilot off piloting twice when I didn't mean to. No, that's one damage I didn't mean to take. I'm also, I'm getting, like, fight songs and American, uh, American Anthem mixed up with the fact that Handel, when he wrote The Messiah, wrote it so fast that he basically stole a bunch of music from himself, from previous things he's written, and, like, other well-known tunes, I think. Zadok the Priest became, glory to God, glory to God, glory, glory to God in the highest. So that was Adok the Priest, and then another one, his yoke is easy, which came from something else. So, 
Best musicians always steal from other musicians. Uh, schools now encourage fighting. You approve this message. The Anna Creonic Creontic song, also known by its insipid to Anna Creon in Heaven, was the official song of the Anna Creontic Society. I don't even know what that word is. Society, an 18th century gentleman's club. Amateur musicians in London. Combination of Keys poem. Smith's composition became known as Star Spangled Banner, which is adopted as national anthem of the United States in 1931. Maybe God save the king as your country is of thee. I don't know. My country tis of thee. Da, 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 da. That's, you think that's God save? God save the son. Da, da. Is that what that is? Because I know the tune for it, but I don't know the words for God save the king. Or the, I don't know the tune to God save the king. So, um, power, value points. Uh, Star Spangled Banner poem is set to the tune of popular British tune. Anna, okay, there you go. So we've had a couple people Google it. All right. God didn't do a very good job of saving the queen. Little Izzy died last year. Now we're stuck with Charlie. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds like politics. I will make no comment on British politics. This is some bring it on movie cheer conversation. wonder if two teams facing each other had their cheerleaders doing all the same stuff, huh? Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, let's do this. No, how the fuck does that keep happening? I swear my mic, my, my mouse is not going over there. I freaking swear it's not. I swear it's snot. There, that should pull the pilot, right? That should definitely pull the pilot. I swear I'm doing this and these guys are getting selected over here. I swear, I swear, I swear. Shouldn't swear, Rand. Yeah, that's true, I shouldn't. But F this game, I'm swearing. Um, I can tell you who didn't sing God Save the Queen. Parisians during the French Revolution. Great. All right. Well, another Zoltan that can be power. The problem is all of my extra crew are boarders. So having an extra crew that's just power sitting around... I think I keep Grima for the... I mean, I guess I get bored with the Zoltan, but then I get power pulled out of a system. You know what? Screw it. Might be the first time I've vented a Zoltan over a human ever, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, let's get level three clone bay. I'm going to jump a couple times before we do another fight. And then... Value points. Backup battery. Rand said a naughty word, I know. Select Amo units than you meant to. Wow, is that a pun on your own name? Okay, well done. <laughs> Pretty common to reuse song melodies. Industrial workers of the world wrote loads of union songs to the tune of hymns, yeah. So I get one guaranteed repair, which delays me to get to the base, or I go this way and hope that this repair doesn't get taken over. The original U.S. anthem was Yankee Doodle. The British soldiers used to sing it as an insult to Americans when the Revolutionary War was won. The U.S. used it as the anthem to troll the British Empire. Okay. Um, I think I have enough drone parts. I'm going to try to get this because I don't want to end up... Well... I feel like we have options. I don't think I'll dive if I go this way. Let's go ahead and get this guaranteed repair. Naughty word is politics. Is that the naughty word? It is. It must be. Yeah. All right. So. Door value, sensor value, then shield value. That's probably the order of upgrades I'm going to go here. And then level three teleporter if we can. Do I want to keep breach bomb on my bar? Yeah, I think I do. For the crew things. Damn it, I probably shouldn't have hacked that. For the uh, not enough time Why shenanigans.
Damn it, missile didn't go offline. Wow, and we took damage from just the halberd beam getting through. Jeez. How the hell do we take damage from the halberd? Hoping's not up. Okay, good dodge. I guess Burst Later 2 Halberd just timed out perfectly. It sucks. Not so much for us being full health for the boss fight unless this second repair station somehow stays online. Wow, good double reward though. Hmm, I don't know. I might have to dive if I go try to get that repair station. Well, we're definitely only doing two runs a day with our first attempt dying instantly and this run going super slow because, you know, I always super slow play boarding runs with how difficult and stressful they can be. Okay. And I don't know if we're going to go for that repair station. I don't know. So shield value, then teleporter upgrade. Okay. Yeah, let's attack the shields this time. I'm gonna try to reactively cloak when maybe when the ion fires. Okay, alright. Hey, that got the combat two offline. Perfect. Diddle -diddle -dee. It's Paul Itix, Rand's worst enemy. Hmm, I've never heard a name playing on politics before. Okay, well, there's a Sector 8 store. Do I care? I have a beam drone to sell. I have a feeling we'd be guaranteed a dive if we do that. We might be able to avoid a dive if I just go to the repair, so... I'm gonna get shield value, go to the repair, and hope we don't end up diving here. Beautiful. No dive. All right, so this... And now, now we can back up battery, level 3 hack, level 3 teleporter. Is that what I want to do? Actually, maybe I... Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what I want to do. And phase 1, we want to have... Well, we have one more, one more potential fight before phase 1. With boarding and this build, hopefully we'll be able to make for a very clean boss fight. I hope. Well, damn it. Completely messed up that micro. This guy's got a lot of pew-pew. Oh, give me some dodges. Oh, damn it. We're going into the boss fight. With not full health. God, triple burst lasers on this freaking guy. Punished for not hacking shields, I guess. I mean, not hacking weapons. Alright, it's only one damage handicap going to the boss. Shouldn't be a big deal. I have spare power in the halberd for the beginning of the fight. Yeah, that's true. We can depower halberd. Although, will I want to? I'm. I probably want to go flak halberd burst laser two as my. No, Flak, Burst Laser 2, Breach Bomb is my weapons for Phase 1 of the boss. Probably what I want to do. So... This Halberd Beam does not help us crew kill. And I can Flak, Burst Laser 2, and maybe get some shots through on missiles or hacking or something if we need to. If you reduce the flagship's health to zero three times in a row, you win the game. Wow! That is some amazing knowledge bombs you have just dropped. Okay. Would I ever use that? I feel like I wouldn't. I'm just going to get the power. Just get the power. So these things are fully powered. I'm going to have these guys in position to insta-jump into there for the second boarding. 
I'm going to depower this in case he hacks my teleporter because probably the worst hack. And it'll let us forward after the hack wears off. So worst hack is hacking or teleporter is probably the worst hack. Shields, maybe a third. Hoping for sensors, doors, or backup battery or something. Maybe O2 wouldn't be terrible. Okay, well that's one of the worst. I think it's still doable though, so I'm not going to run yet. Good. Uh, I maybe should try to shoot the hacking. He cloaks while the hat goes off is really good for us too. Okay. Okay. That actually almost worked out perfect. Almost, but not quite. Uh, I need to board here. Keep that broken if we can. Keep this broken if we can. Nope. Okay. Side room's down. Okay. Uh, that hack delay actually worked out quite well, too. Beautiful. Bring this back. Probably don't need to be t even taking these shots, but. Uh, let's see. You have no idea what's going on. What's up, Carolus? Well, I'm glad you're here, even if you don't know what's happening. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Wanna reach out and grab you. Nah, I don't even need to hack that right now. Um. Nice. Okay, clone bay down. Hacking down. Crew is down. All right, now we can just finish the fight. Get these guys to go over into that room if we can. On a breach bomb is cloaking. Try to kill his piloting so he can't dodge, hopefully. Beautiful. Ideal phase one. Zero damage. The one damage we took was from... Uh, a fight before the boss fight, actually. Objective is kill Flash. If you go down swinging, that's okay. As long as he dies before you do. Need to conserve your bombs. Lol, Kappa, lol. I mean, there is an argument for using Breach Bomb over Halberd Beam. But... I will not hear that argument. No, I just... I. It's always best to kill phase two and three as quickly as possible, and as great as Breach Bomb is at keeping systems down on an unmanned ship, it doesn't do hull damage, so. Breach phase three sounds kinky. Yeah, but we're not going to do it. Could be useful phase three for Zoltan Shield. Yeah, bypass, yeah. I might think about it for that. Do I want a second group of borders? I think I think I don't care. I think I, I think I do this. Deal with the boarding drone with these two guys. These guys kill the missile. We hack shields. And I might I might send my flak into drone control to stop them from doing a second boarding drone. We do not cloak the missile because it should never fire. Once we insta-board into missiles, we save our cloaking for the 
overcharge, the drone overcharge, do I use level two cloaking? I shouldn't, because if I use level two, I could get extra jumps, I'm just not going to. Um, if I use level two cloaking, it could not come up in time for the second drone phase. Got to talk through these things because they're little mistakes that I just make sometimes. I don't want to screw it up. Okay. Beautiful. Drone is down. Missile is down. Cloak is ready. Ah, we took one damage from a beam. Okay. Oh, does it become... Does it actually become an extra damage? It doesn't. Good. Alright. Good phase two. One damage. And that's it. Very nice. This looks so easy, how come I never lose? Yes, yes. Good meme there, good meme. Alright, so how do we deal- now the, the challenge, uh... The no mind control counter, so... So if these guys all in the same room, whoever gets mind control, they will kill them. Um... Maybe I put... We want to move the pilot as far away from piloting as possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the pilot to move the shields while I have everybody else hanging out here. Is what I think I'm gonna do. So uh, we want to board with whoever doesn't get mind controlled over here. You put them in clone bay. Even mind control level three can only do two system damage, and you can just leave anyone there. So put these guys here, you think? And then move that guy to shields. Or maybe move the pilot. Oh, I should... No, I should do this, but move the pilot there. I think. I think that's what I should do. Man, all the rooms that are ventable on this ship are right next to rooms I don't want to vent, which makes for a really awkward venting ship. I'm gonna put you in, I'm gonna put this guy in hacking so I can move this guy to combat. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, 53 scrap gets us. Piloting max, since I don't have piloting my control counter. Do I want a breach bomb? No, I'm gonna keep this build. I'm gonna keep this for the whole damage, I think. And we follow. So that things go crazy, we can run away. All right, there's one of our borders. That's perfect. Kill him. There, auto fire, auto fire. Don't cloak the first missile. God damn this death by a thousand game. fucking missiles, man. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ignore that fire. Go into there. Okay. Okay, we got some fires going. We got some fires. I'm going to ignore them. I don't think I care about them. There we go. Missiles are down. Here comes the cloak. And that should be GG. If only I didn't die jump three last run, I'd be on a streak of five, man. Mind Control Mantis so slow repairing shields, yeah. GG cookie time. All right, but we're, 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 that it's in a box down by the river or a van down by the river or a box floating away from us or something. So I don't have to think about it. Let's check that score. 5880. So that is, what What did those sectors look like? A lot of civilian sectors, thankfully. Pretty good civilian sector seven. Even if we're burning our own ship down, fire is good, great. All right, one in a row, my friends.
One in a row, Mantis A. All right, well, the day did not start off great. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that jump 328 damage we took. Like, if I'm ever going to get 28 in a row, I got to be able to deal with the situations like that, right? Is it really that rare to get, you know, second ship before you can even get second shield? The two damage missile of your shields followed by heavy laser into weapons? I mean, maybe it is. Stuff it in the box with the kittens. The kitten's in the box. Float it down the river. Set it on fire like a Viking funeral. Okay. All right, my friends. Well, I am going to stand up stretch these restroom. Take a break. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying. We are keeping our healthy, positive mindset as we try to keep this streak alive. Y'all rock. See you in a bit. Go grab a drink. Grab a snack. Hang out with the chair. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs>